I want people to know that we as a healthcare system are taking steps to quickly identify people that may have it. We are partnering with our public health friends to really have a coordinated response throughout the community so that if this does become something more, I think we'll be as well prepared as we can be. Currently in the United States, we have millions of people that have been infected with the flu. This happens every year. And so really to put it in perspective, right now if you asked me what worries me about the community from a respiratory viral standpoint, it is not novel coronavirus, it is influenza. If you know that you were exposed to someone who has the virus, then there's a reasonable chance that you could have it too if it's been within 14 days since you were last with those people. In that situation, call public health and they'll give you advice on where to go. We actually don't want these people coming directly into their doctor's offices. We want them to have this be a coordinated visit where everyone knows you're coming so we can take steps to help prevent the spread of infection to other people, be it in the waiting room or other staff at the, in the office. There's no vaccine for this novel coronavirus. There is a vaccine for influenza. Everyone, if you haven't got your flu shot, go and get your flu shot. It makes sense. It'll keep you healthy, keep your neighbors healthy. One of the things that we can all do is practice just good respiratory etiquette, cough etiquette, I like to say. If you are sick and spewing snot, sneezing, coughing, do you need to go to work? Do you need to be out on a plane? Do you need to be at the grocery store? You know, think about this thing. It's kind of, if you're ill, anyway, you should probably stay home. It's both for your benefit as well as so that you don't affect other people. If you do go out and you are coughing or sneezing, then try to protect other people from your secretion. So whether that's taking a tissue and sneezing or coughing into it, throwing that away, washing your hands, coughing into your elbow, these are just, I think, polite and common sense things to do and will help protect uh, those around you. Wash your hands frequently uh, if you're sick, both to, that's to keep you from spreading it to other people. And if you are someone who is not sick, wash your hands frequently to keep from getting 